Hello everybody, it is Liam the Deaf Doom Metalhead and today I'm doing a special video for two record labels. I feel very very privileged to do this because I don't see myself as a big YouTube channel but when labels show support to my channel it really does mean the world and there's some wicked releases on this video. So we're going to start off with the first label which is an Irish label, this is called Cryptic Blood run by Gary over here. He is a very much a boot teak kind of label should we say so all these releases are really unique they're all completely custom and you will not find these anywhere else they're not represses of anything some might be re-releases possibly but a lot of these are completely unique releases that are very much in the underground and they are focused on the die-hard collector who likes proper raw underground music not, not to say raw as in production but that's how it the bands aren't massive they're not like these massive label bands these are proper underground metal bands that you may have may have not heard of and they put out some really cool music that just doesn't get heard and Gary's kind of picking those bands up and kind of helping them along with very very unique releases and I'm going to show you a few here and then explain how you get to them at the end of this section and then I'll do the next section the other label so the first band uh, from this label is a band called Dratna which is a band out of Ireland I think they're based out of Belfast by memory this is some black metal in the kind of atmospheric, kind of Celtic kind of vibe to it, obviously being Irish, it has though certain scales that the guy uses to kind of, you can tell it's an Irish band. I listen to a lot of different bands from across the world and the Irish bands that I do have in my collection, they all use kind of the same keys and scales. It's bizarre, but they do and it's really cool to hear because you can instantly tell where it might come from. So this was formed in 2018 by Andrew McKenna and he does everything on this and this is the EP from 2020 put out from the label. Now, when these sell out, this is the whole point of this video. So basically what Gary is doing is he's doing like a on-demand service, and I'll explain in detail what that means, but these releases you will, be, you will be able to pick up on demand from him. So the tape looks like this, but it's not always guaranteed it's going to look like that. When you get it, he's going to do different versions of it, depending on what he has in stock. But this is two sides of just sheer black metal with loads of melodies, the vocals are brilliant, it is a really strong release. And you may think these are well in kind of raw underground vibe like all bedroom bands, that they're not. Well, this one might be because it's a one man project and that all million of black metal bands are. J Card looks like that. But this really impressed me. This is very, very, very riffy. I mean, the, the second side, the B side of this tape is probably the strongest side for me. And the songs were stronger. The, the first song on the B side has just got a wicked riff and it just goes and it, it's very, very good. Um, I'm going to definitely keep my eyes open and hopefully find something else from this guy because that was really, really strong. So, yeah, Dratna is the first release you can pick up. Really, really cool. Now, for you death metal nerds out there, these two bands are right up there for you and I'm not just saying it because Gary sent me them, I've always known about them. They did a split, this first band is a London band, they did a split with a Gouger last year so they were on my radar but Gary here has sent me two of their releases that you'll be able to pick up as a repress of this uh, label and the band is Gore Shriek and this is the uh, Post Apocalyptic Mutations EP. Now I think this one came out in either 2017 or 2020, I can't remember which one this was. But again, it's just no nonsense. Cannibal Corpse era kind of Barnes, Cannibal Corpse era, Chris Barnes era Cannibal Corpse kind of style death metal where it's raw, it's a bit thrashy. Vocals have really have been really really strong. The guy called Putrid Lou is only a young guy, but yeah, he can bark. Like he, he's got some fantastic vocals, and that's kind of what makes these next releases really really enjoyable. Tape looks like that, very very DIY. I imagine Gary probably goes down Hobbycraft quite a lot to make these releases because the next, especially the next one, isn't crazy. So you get like a sticker within the J card there, and yeah, it's just really really good, proper riffy death metal. There it is, all in there. So that that's the first one from them. So that that was really good. Again, really riffy. No nonsense, you know, the kind of death metal I like where it's just no pissing about, you know, you just enjoy it, you know, it's not no, nothing serious, not epic, nothing, there's nothing like that, it's just good riffy death metal, I'll put the fucking sticker on the inside of that. But this, this is the one I love, this, this, this release here is spectacular, so this is 
uh, Victims of the Axe. Now, the case is what makes it cool here, so if I can get this done on camera. There we go. So it opens up like that. It took me absolutely ages to figure out how to do this mind. I have to Google it in the end, because I fellow YouTubers have done this. And I had to watch them do it, because I just could not figure it out, and I felt like a right prat trying to figure it out. But anyway, so as you can see there, artwork is brilliant. Tape looks like this. And yeah, it's just superb death metal. And any death metal fan out there will enjoy this. Like you say, if you're a fan of the Chris Barnes era Cannibal Corpse, you're already a fan of this. Very much up there. It's a heavy worship on that kind of style. Three piece there, there are the boys there. There's old Putrid Lou, the little young lad there, but he's got a fucking mental vocals. And then I think these two have been, they've been the band's been around a while. I mean, they formed in 2017 under different names, I believe, or something like that. And then they settled on a Gore Shriek in the end, I think by memory. So yeah, really really cool band. But you can also get that on CD. So if you're not a tape fan, you've got a CD version of it here, which is just as nice. And you've got the CD in there. So that's fucking awesome, right? Really cool. But the, I mean, there are a few other things that Gary sent me, but I will show them in different videos, because these are what you can get on this repress scheme that he's doing. But th this is the icing on the cake. And I, I've managed to get some details so people from overseas, and if you don't use Facebook, you'll be able to get involved in this. But you can pick up this, and it's insane. So this is the band Putrid Chunks, which is Putrid Lou, the singer of Gorshry. This is his one-man band project. Uh, this is Transcending the Grotesque. Now this is actually a photo frame. And you think, that's lovely, Liam. Yep, great, I love that. So you've got this kind of glass thing here with the artwork printed on it, the frame, you got the sticker there with the Cryptid Blood logo, but then you've got this opening compartment here, you pop that open, without breaking it, it opens up, and the cassette lives in there, it's just fucking really clever, now I've glued mine down a bit more, because mine was a bit fragile, and I think that's because of me, when I opened the parcel, more than anyone else, tape looks like that, and this is again, brilliant, really heavy death metal, it's fantastic. You see how the uh, glass there doesn't show anything, but then obviously when you close it up, you've got the artwork there. So it's a really, really cool release. And he's done a few other ones like this, with a similar style with the frame and the tape sits inside it. I'll show you the J card. I'll try not to drop this on my lap. But look at that. And like you can look at this and you're going to think this is well lo fi, murky, horrible death metal. It's horrible. A little bit murky, but the production on it is actually really, really cool. Really clear. Vocals, again, are fantastic. He's got such a good vocal range. And you, you, the riffs on it as well. I mean, it's a full length album. Uh, when, as I say, he's put out five EPs since 2020, something like that, when he formed the band. And I think this is the, uh, the fourth release from 2021. He's, he's a very prolific dude. So, yeah, I mean, you can get this, right? And I'm going to tell you how. So what you can do is, I've now got an email address from Gary. You can use. I'll put it in the description of this video, and you can email him. So if you're not, if you use Facebook, you can use the Cryptid Blood link, which I'll put in this video as well. You can also email him, and then you can contact him that way, and then start speaking about releases. Um, but also, he's also got a Discogs, which hopefully he's now sent to me by the time I've done this video. I'll put that in there. So if you're a user of Discogs like I am as well, you're sorted. All right. So. That is Cryptid Blood. Thank you, Gary, so much for that. Go check out all their releases. I'll leave links to everything I've just spoken about. So we'll move on to the next label. Right, so not only was I lucky enough to get a nice little package from Cryptid Blood label, I was also able to get a nice package from Morbid Chapel Records. Here is Waldemar here, looking all satanic and evil as he does. Now, his label's based out of Poland, and he does a distro slash label, and it's more blackened, death metal, that kind of thing, uh, dungeon synth, ambience, dark stuff, all the evil shit in the world basically and he sent me a nice little package of CDs now these are all my own cases because it saves him on the shipping and all that kind of thing so if they look beat the shit that's because they're my cheap CD cases I haven't replaced yet um, and I just kind of put them together for this video so the first band is an actual split between two black metal bands now these mostly all of these came out in 2022 or the back end of 2022 so they are new releases but they kind of came out in like December time that, that kind of time period so this one I can't even pronounce so I'm going to put it down there but I want to say Vermist and Condescend. 
Vermist are a Polish black metal band and Condescend are a French black metal band which is part of some big circle of black metal bands that are part of some kind of thing. I, don't, I didn't really understand what it is but they are part of some kind of circle which some people might understand. So this is the split between the two that came out last year and uh, this is a crazy. So Vermis who formed in 2018, I think they just put out a full length this year as well for 2023. This is, they were very raw, I mean they were a hard listen to start with, don't get me wrong, Vermist, the guitar tone on it is, is something I wouldn't personally have chosen, but then, you know, it adds to the uniqueness of it, it's very, very evil sounding, very, very dry, very, very lo-fi, and yeah, it was a hard listen, but then again, like, I've spent more time with it, I try my hardest to kind of pick out things that I can actually listen to. And there was little bits of it in there, so maybe the third track, there's three tracks for them on the first side of it. And it was good at the end, I enjoyed it, but it, the, the, the start of it, it kind of threw me off first. So I'm still kind of on the fence for that one. But then Condescence, they're a bit more polished, a bit more faster, a bit in your face. But again, it's got that rawness to it, but you can tell they've been in a million other different black metal projects. And it's a bit more... Not mainstream, but it has it has more of a easier listening than say Vermis on this split. They're definitely the band that I could listen to more. Being um, what was it, uh, Condescend. But you know, either way, it's a wicked release. Looks like that. You get a nice full booklet. So you lo-fi black metal fans, you're probably already aware of this. If you haven't, obviously go check it out. It's well worth looking at. So yeah, really, really cool that one. But the, the, this one was brilliant. Already a fan of this band, they put out an album in 2021 and it was brilliant and then again they put out another full length in 2022 and that is Obsidian Hooves with Illuminating Void. This one came out like late December so uh, it is a new album essentially for 2023 but it's not. But oh these guys are brilliant. So they're based out of Mississippi and LA by memory the two guys in this band. The guy in Mississippi being in a billion bands and uh, if you look on Metal Archives, it's, it's hilarious how many bands he's actually put in there. He's been in a lot, I mean, there's a lot in there. But this is, I mean, fucking fantastic. If you're a fan of sludgy, black and death metal, these guys do it perfectly. The tones, the blasts, everything on it is spot on. The production is mint, really, really crisp. And uh, the, the, the previous album was really good, and I'm still a massive fan of that one, maybe a little bit more on this one, just because I probably spent more time with it. But this was an instant hit. I have not was not disappointed really. I mean, I put it on. Let's go. You know, it was perfect. You know, really, really good release. So if you're a fan of this band already, you'll like this one. If you're completely new to them, go get it because it's well worth picking up. I know there's a few distros in the UK that have got this as well. So go grab it. So yeah, Obsidian Hooves. Now, this was a band I never heard of before. So it's an atmospheric black metal out of Russia. Formed in 2017, and this is a comp of an EP from 2019, and then the music on this, the, I can't think it's maybe 2020 this came out officially, so it's a new EP with an old EP on it, I think, but it's a comp technically, and the band is called That Down Below because I couldn't pronounce it, but this is very atmospheric black metal, it's got some dungeon synthy kind of stuff in there as well, and one of the tracks is just pure kind of atmospheric, I don't know what they call it, like dark dark ambient, something like that they say. And um, again, that was something new to me. I mean, I love the black metal on here, don't get me wrong. I thought that was really strong. But the dark ambient stuff, I'm still getting my head around it. So the background music is absolutely fine, because I can work to this quite happily. But to sit there and listen to it, that, that, that was a challenge for me. Because I like to kind of digest all these, and I have spent quite a few hours an evening trying to digest all this music and trying to listen to what I can talk about. So, if you're a black metal fan, give it a go. It is quite cool. Um, but like I say, the, the dark ambient stuff, it was a bit hit or miss for me. I have to be in the mood for it. So, but a strong release anyway from you know black metal fans out there. Now this one's probably the pick of the bunch for me, just purely because it just clicked instantly and I had it on a lot. I had a long drive for work one day and I just kept this in the player. I normally take about five or six CDs for me. This one didn't come out at all there and back. And that is how you pronounce it, Hamvac. So this is a Hungarian chap called David. 
believe he lives in Germany now though, but this is his debut full length for 2022. I think the band formed in 2015, yeah. And he does everything on this. And this is fucking amazing. I generally, I'm not even bullshitting you, but this is amazing. This is a massive death metal album. It's got a black in edge to it, but it's a pure nasty death metal album. If you're a fan of like Morbid Angel, um, I don't know who else could you say? The shitloads of bands. He's it's got that vibe. It's got like a blackened vibe to it, like Bell for Gore, that that kind of thing, you know. Where it's there, little elements of it, but it's just the riffs on it are fantastic. And I'll try and show you the book because the artwork is fantastic. So. Not only is the cover amazing, this, I mean, this could easily have a vinyl uh, issue easily. I mean, the artwork, the text involved, each book page has a, some fantastic artwork on it. It's one of those really, really nice releases where you get your money's worth. And it's got a lot of detail to it. it fits the atmosphere. And it's just brilliant. So this is the pick of the bunch for me, that it easily. It's a fantastic death metal album. Big riffs, it's chunky, it's nasty, it's got kind of grittiness to it. It's just brilliant. Really, really solid. So yeah, handbag, well worth your time. I can't recommend that one enough. And then these next two are Romanian projects. First one, most people probably know this one, this is Necrotum with Undead Symbiosis. This came out last year as well. Undead Symbiosis, that's the word, isn't it? This is, again, brilliant as well, but this is different in a way to the other. I mean, Philip, the main guy in this band, the guitar player, I mean, this is a young band as well. These, dope, these dudes are young, and they put people like me to shame who think they're a musician when they're really not. These dudes certainly are, and they're young lads, as you can probably tell by that picture there. But Philip here, he's in a few projects that I've got. I think Demoted being another one like that, where he sounded like Chuck Shoulder you know, on vocals. But on this one, he sounds like Chris Barnes from The Bleeding. It's uncanny. Like he, it's funny how they're obviously inspired by older bands, and he's just chucking that into their music. But this is it stands on its own. Don't get me wrong. It's not a rip off of anything. It's thick. It's horrible. It's got some wicked riffs on this, like pinch harmonic riffs and all sorts of shit like that. I love dive bombs, the works, and it's got a grave cover as well. There, extremely rotten flesh right at the end. So you haven't heard this again. If you're a big death metal fan like me, it's a no-brainer. A solid, solid release. And yeah, wicked album. So yeah, Necrotum, loving that. And then lastly, with the same band Necrotum, this is a split with the band Reveler, which came out last year as well, I think. Yeah. So this is interesting because this is a a project Reveler that we'll talk about mostly because you already know about Necrotum. But Reveler, this was a hard one for me to start with because the production on it is very lo-fi death metal. It's, it wasn't something I was expecting. It's quite gritty. Bit in like a very low fireway. I mean, imagine if you saw this live, that wouldn't be an issue, it would sound really fantastic. But on this release here, I don't know what it is about the production, I couldn't get my head around it until I listened to it about three or four times and, and then I got it. And I actually enjoyed it for the music more than the production because I, I wanted something more from the production initially. I wasn't getting it and it was bugging me. But then after a few more spins of it, I kind of didn't care about that anymore. I just appreciated the riffs. And there are really good riffs on this. So. This is done by uh, a chap called Uriel, who's in a million bands. I also believe he's the guy responsible for the Metal Minders YouTube channel logo. I think that's correct. So he's a well-known dude in the scene, and his wife is the bass player on this project, and then they've got a Mexican chap doing the drumming on it. Kind of forms the band. And again, it's just raw, nasty, underground death metal. No nonsense. I mean, Uriel's been in Putrid, Vorus, there's all sorts he's in. He's, he's got his finger in a lot of different pies. I think he's originally from Texas, but now lives in Romania. And yeah, solid, solid release. I mean, it took me a little while. Don't get me wrong. I wouldn't go, I was instantly floored by this, but I like to be patient nowadays and kind of take it all in and then, then give my verdict. And yeah, I've enjoyed this a lot since I've kind of spent more time with it. I mean, it's nothing like the other ones, but I don't think this was aimed at being a highly polished release anyway. So yeah, go give it a go and see what you think. So I'll leave links below to everything. So yeah, that's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it and you go and check out everything below that I leave links for. You take it all in. Obviously, let me know in the comment section. Cheers to um, Gary and Waldemar for the releases on the old beer. 
Until then, please take care. Subscribe to the YouTube channel if you haven't already, if you've watched this video and you like the content. I'll punch stuff in front of my head. Like the video, and I'll speak to you guys soon. Cheers.